Mountain United Artists and Areola Labels. Because there were no recording studios in Western Canada, the Rebels went to Clovis, New Mexico, and recorded with Norman Petty. Well, Norman had actually had hits since the late 40s as, uh, as an artist, Norman Petty Norman Trio. Petty. Yeah, right. uh, in fact, he did the first version, as I recall, of Autumn Leaves, uh, the old standard. And then uh, he opened a studio to record himself primarily because he had, you know, some success with records. And then the rock and rollers started coming in, like Buddy Knox. Uh, I, I think he cut Party Doll. Yeah, he did. Party Doll. Who Love. Love. Jimmy, Jimmy, Bowen. Bowen. Jimmy <coughs> Bowen. Roy Orbison's first uh, Ooby Dooby was, was cut there. Was done there. Um, of course, Buddy Holly. Yeah, and then Holly walked in one day and. Uh, Crickets. And that's uh, where he made all Holly's money. That's right. <laughs> Lots of it. The day that shook the world. There were there were virtually no recording studios that's in right. Canada at that time. But oh, yeah, it was no, either Petty's or Toronto. Or for Toronto. Us. That's right. So uh, that was the reason we went to the Clovis. It was accessibility more than anything. And uh, initially, the first time we recorded, it was uh, all cut live, direct to. I don't know if we were stereo at that point or if it was mono. No, mono. All mono. Yeah. But I remember we cut everything all at once, and uh, you'd go in and listen and say, well, somebody's guitar's out of tune, we've got to do it again. <laughs> and then in uh, the later sessions, um, then we had the four track, and I mean, that the was heaven. The luxury of four track. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ping pong up to about yeah. eight, so oh, yeah. it was heaven. <laughs> the thought of a studio like this, yeah. you know, compared to what we thought was high tech in those days <coughs> at, at Norman's place. We were just yeah. talking about how, how Gary has more sophisticated equipment in his house, you know, <laughs> than Norman. If Norman had that stuff in those days, it'd just be awesome. <laughs> Chick, 
Linda Lou, Linda, call my baby Patty, but her real name, her real name, her real name is Linda Lou. trips were insane like uh, i remember uh, the one time we played uh, we left clovis i think on a tuesday oh yeah i remember that one. <laughs> oh boy yeah. we played we left clovis new mexico on a i believe it was a tuesday uh we played regina mm -hmm. friday Th night yeah thursday or friday yeah then left Lethbridge, Lethbridge, right <laughs> and then we turned around and drove back through regina on the way to toronto and we were in toronto we started toronto on tuesday night yeah, so in the course of, I think, a week, we'd gone... Many miles. 5,000 miles. miles. I mean, yeah, it was, a lot of And we went from 6,000 feet above sea level to sea level. Do you imagine what condition we were in when we got to Toronto? <laughs> and we're the right. thing was, you towed the equipment. You know, yeah. Oh, yeah, U-Haul. We uh, kept the U-Haul. Is U-Haul still in business? <laughs> not after that. <laughs> <laughs> not, after, not after we wrecked them all. <laughs> the difference in in those days and today is that we put everything in a 5 by 10 trailer, right. U-Haul trailer, and today they use semi-trailer. Semi -trailer. Yeah. So, you know, yeah. in terms but of the the bandings are so much larger. Oh, nowadays. yeah. But, uh, yeah. you know, what it forced you to do is play with great dynamics. Yeah. Because if you were hammering away behind the singer, nobody could hear them, you know. So drummers and all the instrumentalists really learned to play up and down and it was, it was a great musical training in that. We used to work really hard on that, too. Because we didn't have to, a sound man out there doing When we would rehearse and even when we'd play, we'd work hard at being able to, we'd try and play soft, uh, fairly quiet, but still have a good snappy groove, yeah. a good feel. Yeah. And that's, uh, that's tricky to do. Right? I think a lot of days, if you took uh, the 10,000 watts away and the big PAs and the big giant amps and just had guys sit down and just play, play and try and make it feel good, it might uh, be interesting. Mm -hmm.